currently under construction. The Winkel Biogas Facility is located close to Lundsby Biogas Head Office in Logstrup. Winkel Biogas is the largest AD plant built by Lundsby Biogas. Each week in five days, the AD facility will receive approximately 850 to 900 tons per day of manure slurry. The biomass processing capacity of the plant is 400,000 tons per year. An odor management system effectively prevents odor from causing nuisance or other environmental issues during the unloading of slurries from tankers arriving on site. The slurry is pumped to a smaller 135 cubic meter filing tank. If the tank is full, an acoustic and visual alarm will be given to the driver. The Winkel Biogas will handle between 20 to 25 vehicle loads of slurry per day. It is therefore important that close attention is paid to keeping vehicles and equipment hygienic and thoroughly clean before and after the loading and unloading of digestate. This close attention to detail minimizes the potential to cause odor nuisance or environmental issues. A stockpile of energy crops will be stored at the biogas plant itself. In addition to slurry, approximately 170,000 tons of other types of solid biomass can be processed at the AD plant. This material will include energy crops, deep litter, chicken litter and straw. Energy crops from external suppliers will be analysed in an accredited laboratory to ensure suppliers receive a fair price for the materials they supply. The most difficult biomass to process into biogas in an AD plant is straw. Deep litter, chicken litter and straw are delivered to the plant in containers or by trailer. The Winkel biogas plant has a long retention time and can effectively convert the high solids content of straw into biogas. While the operator is using ensiled biomass from last year's harvest, new stocks of energy crops are also processed and stored at the plant. All solid biomass is tipped into four large piles. A crane then feeds the biomass into three dosing modules. As well as feeding the dosing modules, the automatic operated crane helps to also ensure capacity is maintained to receive new biomass deliveries. The newly added solid biomass is mixed and homogenized in three dosing modules before being transported by screw augers into the premixer. Liquid from the process tanks is added to the biomass in the premixer. Subsequently, the biomass is shredded to create a pulp based substrate which can be pumped into the digester or secondary digesters. Contrary items such as stones, steel items and other contaminants are separated in the premixer and transported to a reject container outside the building. The Winkel biogas process tanks has a total volume of 77,000 cubic meters. Within the tanks, a part of the biomass is converted into biogas. The three main digester tanks are fitted with a central top agitator to stir the biomass during the digestion process. In the secondary and lower digesters, a submerged propeller mixer is used to stir the biomass. Biogas is pumped out of the process tanks to the upgrading unit using six gas boosters. The upgrading system is an amine plant supplied by Amon Gas. The upgrade unit is built to treat 7,500 cubic meters of biogas per hour, but additional capacity is expected. Following the upgrade process, the biomethane is between 98 to nearly 100% CH4, which is fed to the compressor station. The compressor station compresses the biomethane 
up to 6 to 7 bar. The gas is cooled down and sent to the natural gas grid. The CO2 separated during the biogas cleanup process also contains sulfur dioxide, which is sent to the sulfur treatment plant. Here, the sulfur is removed to a maximum of 50 ppm in the outlet. The clean CO2 from the sulfur treatment plant is directed to the odour management system for the complete removal of any remaining sulfur. The heat for the upgrading unit is supplied by two 4.25 MV natural gas boilers. Up to 80% of the heat used for biomethane upgrading can be reused as process heat in other areas of the biogas plant. Air from the Technic building and from tanks containing odorous products is transferred to the air purification system. This ensures emissions from the AD plant meet the necessary requirements. In addition to the three drivers, there are five employees at the plant. The office is centrally located inside the technical building. From the office, the manager has a good view of all the operations taking place on site. In addition, there is an online monitoring system throughout the facility. In this way, operating staff can effectively manage site processing 24-7. Although the construction of the facility is not fully complete, the plant is already producing 4,000 cubic meters of biomethane per hour and therefore has successfully reached budgeted biogas production. Once construction is complete, the plant should produce and upgrade more than 5,000 cubic meters of biomethane per hour. In addition to biomethane, a good plant-friendly digestate fertilizer is produced. This fertilizer is returned to the original suppliers of the manure and deep litter biomass. The digestate can be spread on farmland as a good fertilizer. The Vinkel Biogas Facility is one of two plants currently being built in the immediate vicinity of Lundsby Biogas AS.